all right guys welcome to another video in this video i want to show you how to install vites with react with tailwind css right to make it simple we're going to go to tailwind and then we're just going to basically follow the instructions that are here and then maybe add a couple of things that might help you to it to get started you right click on vs code and open a new instance of vs code uh, if you already have a project running you're going to have to create a new window uh, when VS Code opens, you have a page that looks like this, right? And it's going to pop up some things like this. If you already had a project running, you can click on them. But since this is a new project, we're going to have to create a new one. Now, in VS Code, there's no way to create a new folder. So you have to click Open Folder. And then right-click and then just set up a folder that you want. In this case, I'm going to call it Black Box. And then I'm going to like enter into that and then select that as a folder so when i do that this vs code is going to open that folder for me and then it's basically that's how it works we're going to have to first start by installing the necessary components how we install components and stuff into vs code is via a terminal so you go to terminal and then click new terminal uh, so let's go back to tailwind css now tailwind says we should install create this the first thing we need to do is npm create vite at latest don't forget we're trying to install tailwind css with vite in a react project so that's basically how it works now if you right click let's copy this we need to do a few edits to this thing right here for instance this my project is not our project so we need to name it something fancy so we can come here and then paste that in so the my project section here let's just say since we start with black box as a folder, let's just say black box. Let's just say black, right? Now we'll copy this, right? And then we'll go back into VS Code and come into terminal and then press this. So npm is going to create this file. Now, what is npm? npm is a, a short form for Node Package Manager. If you don't have Node Package Manager, you're going to need to go into this place right here. And then you're going to go to Node.js, Node.js. And then you're going to have to install node.js click on here and then install node.js it's an exe file so you can just download the latest node the latest node is v22.12.0 right so um, so that's pretty much it if you don't have if you have node installed but you don't know if it is it is there you can just go into your command line let me delete this first and say node uh, slash v so you press that it's going to tell you what kind of node you have so because i have node installed i can continue if you don't have node you have to go back to this place and then install node so that's very easy so now that we are sure that we have node we'll paste that in back again and then this time I press enter so the node package manager is going to install node for us it's going to take a while so just give it some time after a while it's going to stop and then it's going to start asking you a couple questions now it wants to know what framework you want to use. Like we said, we want React, so we're going to press Enter on React. Now it asks you what variant of React you want: TypeScript, TypeScript with SMC, JavaScript, JavaScript with SMC, and that other thing here. But we want JavaScript, so we're just going to press arrow up and down to select, and then you press Enter on JavaScript. So now that that's done, uh, let me show you something. So if you click on black, you see that things have already started being installed. Remember, we didn't do any of these things, right? So now it's telling you to do a couple of things and you have to pay attention to this or else your project is not going to work right. So the first thing it says you should do is CD into black. That is change directory into black. So you type CD, select that spot that says CD black so that everything you want to install next will be happening into the black folder, this guy here. Right. If you don't do that, your project is not going to run. So press enter. So come back here and then press enter. So now we're inside of black. So the next thing we're going to do is says npm install. But our npm install is already given to us in the Vite uh, website. So what we are in what we are installing now is npm install Tailwind CSS auto prefixer. Right. So you have to then paste that into the next line so like that so you press enter now now it's going to install uh tailwind css as a package itself all right so now the next thing it asks us to do is to open tailwind 
config.js this file so once we do that we copy this section over here this part you know a marks in blue and then we'll go back in here and then this is tailwind config.js this is the file it asks us to replace we so paste that now remember every time you paste into a file in uh, Visual Studio Code to save it or else it doesn't commit to memory so next to that we'll go to index.css you will find index.css in the source folder index.css now by default you would find some stylings in here the stylings correspond to the way this thing is currently looking that's why it's looking like this right the size of the react all of these things these colors this section over here that's a button so all of this styling information is what is controlling that so we want to paste our own tailwind configurations uh, because with tailwind we wouldn't be needing this structure of css right we will be doing what we call an inline styling i'll show you what that looks like in a minute so we can actually trash everything in here but it's not necessary so we'll just say now next thing we need to do is to start the application so just because you have done all of these things doesn't mean it's going to automatically show up on this place right uh if i refresh this place now it's pointing to nothing so it's just going to show you an error because there is nothing that is feeding at the back so this is how we feed it so you come to this place and then you say npm run dev and then press enter so it's going to run the development and then it's going to tell you what the uh, address is localhost 55176 if we put your mouse over on top of this thing it will tell you to follow the link so if you click on follow link it's going to take you to the website don't forget we're hosting it on this system it's not going online yet so now you see everything that is inside right so that's pretty much how to set up a vite react uh, on with tailwind css now uh, let's test whether this thing is working so we're going to go to the app.jsx the app.jsx is where all the show kind of like happens um so we could do something let's say take everything that's in this paragraph right everything here is controlled by this div like everything inside this place is controlled by like everything so we can trash all that and then this time around we'll just write h1 and then press enter so it's going to create that for us now we're going to write something like hello i am a developer and i used tailwind to style this sorry my style is horrible and then i get a completion so perfect so that's pretty much it now for the styling let's go to this in text so for, first we need to do the class name so while you're using tailwind every css styling you're doing will have to come with a, a class name right i have an autocomplete software on my visual studio code maybe one of these days i'll do a tutorial on how to set up that autocomplete but it's it's really awesome uh, to just make it work really fast so for your sake right i'm just gonna write it from scratch or maybe just, let me just select all of that uh so class name text is 3xl maybe we should just make it really fat and then say 6xl and then font is bold underline do i want underline let me take out underline and then so everything like that is going to happen for this we can have two lines of that so i'm just pretty basically going to copy this place and then just drop it there everything is happening there so for this one i'm just going to write a div in here and then for this one i'm just going to write a div in here i don't have to write a div inside that for it to work but i'm just going to write a div anyway so i'm just going to press like that right so I'll, I'll save it if we go back to the website it's going to refresh itself and then give us this right my website is looking delicious right uh if we want to put some spacing in between that all we just need to do is go into tailwind again and then we'll say py-20 like that so that's for the first one since we want the spacing between the top and the bottom 
uh, because there's nothing at the bottom there's no need to put the py in there so let's just press save again and then if you go back in there you see that space in between so the spacing in between here and here that space in between there is the 20 that we just set. So the beautiful part of using Tailwind is that unlike your regular CSS, which you could find in index.css, you have to write like this, like this, like this. Uh, with Tailwind, you can just style them inside that one line like that. And then you can write some really complex things on the inside of that, right? You know, so uh, Tailwind makes your life really easy. Like it's extremely fast and it's like, like, like it'll cut your job in half. I can show you that so and like I said many of the things here it's not necessary they belong to Tailwind uh, they belong to the pro previous project uh, if you go back to index.css I can just throw everything inside here under the bus and I would be done right I don't really need anything like that in there so I'm just gonna save this in here and then save app.js and if we go back to our app you'll see that really nothing has changed you know, so that's just basically how it works. Well, the only thing that changed is the background because the previous styling controlled the background. So, so but aside from that, you don't have anything to worry about it. Tailwind will just do everything for you, right? So I think that's pretty much everything you need to know. In the next video, we'll continue with something like building a really small website, maybe like a landing page or something that might help you. So I hope this has helped you. If it has, I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Take care.